According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place? This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember, they ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember. Everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know. It's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. 
You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spymaster, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47.
47. I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald. Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. Sorry, sir. You cannot pass through here. Your pathway tapes over to the house. Yes, sir. I did. They're in a pile and are ready for review. I'm somewhere else. I totally agree, sir. Go Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus no. awaits your attention. Christ. Please help me! <laughs> I got him in my sight! Just confiscate my property. I need to get rid of an aggressively invasive wall in this poor old man's backyard. I think I'd lose my mind living on the burbs like this. Yo, bodyguard. Enough! Stop! What was that? Call sign Niner. I just stumbled on a half naked man. A civilian. Someone's making trouble.
back door. Someone help me! It's urgent! At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. Roger, Command. Nothing tangible yet. Command, do you read me? Over! Somebody just got killed. There's a killer on a rampage! You account of oh shit. Ah! You're coming on a little strong, and I don't feel the same. Back off, please. Hmm. Well, Janus next door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is. Excuse me, sir. You don't have clearance to come through here. Sorry. Thank you for shopping locally. Yes, I know the condition. We have a free muffin promotion going on today. So everyone can get it. Yes. Oh, I hope they have something in the
robe for Janus. What could he need that for? He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the Constant. Long time no see. I think he comes early, just to chat with the birds. We gotta go! Follow me! It's not safe here! Yeah, all right. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy because he looks like any fragile old man, but I think... I need help! Please, somebody help me!
You there? There's a maniac running around the building. You know, my son's got really looking good, man. Looking good. Change the world. Vote Blake. Hey, uh, uh, you guys haven't been poking. Have a blind. You know. Oh, okay, great. It, it's just that. Well, I saw one of those security people from Mr. Janice's house, and I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there. And I just figured since you guys seem to be, you know, working together, you, you might know about it. Can't say that I Someone from Janus' security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be? Uh, okay, all right, well, I'll, I'll just leave you to it. I lost sight of suspect. Anyone see him? No, I lost him too. The suspect is wearing a new disguise. Don't let him get away. All right.
Another life lot. Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information.
ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Yeah, but... Charles Blake III appreciates your support. Excuse me, sir, are you... Hmm?
A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. I mean, we have a grill, honey. We can just... Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. Oh, yeah? And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. <laughs>